What if I told you your body could be screaming for help and you might not even hear it? Fatigue, bone pain, brain fog, infections. Millions are walking around with a silent epidemic, low vitamin D, and the symptoms often dismissed, misdiagnosed, and totally ignored. Are you one of them? Let's find out before your bones, your brain, or your heart pay the price. In this video, I'll walk you through the top 10 signs of vitamin D deficiency. And unlike other videos, I'm going to explain why they happen. So you're not just memorizing a list, you're learning what your body's trying to tell you. Stick with me till the end and I'll show you how to fix it with the right supplement, the right dose, and the nutrients that help vitamin D work better. This is a root cause conversation and it might just change how you feel. Before we dive in, I'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment and let me know where you're watching from. Let's map out the sunshine or lack of it around the world. Sign number one, constant fatigue or low energy. Ever wake up tired even after a full night's sleep? Vitamin D plays a major role in mitochondrial function, the powerhouse of your cells. It helps regulate the genes that control energy production through the electron transport chain. Low vitamin D equals low ATP output, and that's your cell's fuel. So it's not that you're lazy, your cells are literally running on fumes. Sign number two, frequent illness or infections. If you catch every bug going around, this one's for you. Vitamin D is essential for production of antimicrobial peptides, particularly cathelicidin. These are your internal antibiotics produced by immune cells and epithelial tissues. Vitamin D weakens both the innate and adaptive immune system. So viruses and bacteria have a field day that every cold, every month cycle, it might be your immune system crying out for D. Sign number three, bone pain and lower back aches. D helps you absorb absorb calcium and phosphorus, the minerals that strengthen bone matrix. But it doesn't stop there. It also activates osteoblasts, the cells that build new bone. Without it, your bones become porous, even soft. This is osteomalacia in adults, and the pain isn't always sharp. It's that deep, nagging ache in your hips, spine, or ribs. Sign number four, depression and mood imbalance. Vitamin D receptors are abundant in areas like the prefrontal cortex, hippocampus, and amygdala, regions that regulate mood. It influences serotonin synthesis by regulating the enzyme tryptophan hydroxylase. Plus, it helps reduce neuroinflammation, which we now know is tied to depression. Low D means foggy brain, low motivation, and emotional volatility. This isn't just in your head, it's in your hormones. Sign number five, muscle weakness or cramps. This one gets missed often. Vitamin D helps regulate calcium influx into muscle fibers during contraction. It also increases muscle protein synthesis by activating VDRs, which is vitamin D receptors, in muscle tissue. Deficiency leads to poor coordination, reduced strength, and frequent cramps, especially in the quads, calves, and glutes. Think you're just deconditioned? Maybe your D is down. Sign number six, hair thinning or hair loss. You're not shedding because of old age alone. D affects hair follicle cycling, specifically the transition from telogen, which is resting, to the anagen, which is the growth phase. Vitamin D levels can disrupt this and trigger telogen effluvium, a form of diffuse hair shedding. It's even implicated in autoimmune hair loss like alopecia areata. If your part is widening or ponytail shrinking, don't overlook this. Sign number seven, poor wound healing or chronic inflammation. Vitamin D helps regulate macrophage activation during wound healing and promotes the formation of epithelial tissue. It also suppresses TNF-alpha and IL-6, two inflammatory cytokines linked to delayed healing. If cuts heal slowly, bruises linger, or inflammation seems constant, your vitamin D might be too low to shut down the fire. Now let me pause for a second. If you're finding this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe. Every click helps more people get this life-changing information. And it tells the YouTube algorithms to keep spreading the word. Now let's keep going. Sign number eight, fractures from minor falls. This is one of the most dangerous signs especially in older adults. Low D compromises bone mineral density, but more importantly, it weakens bone quality and architecture. So even if your DEXA scan looks okay, 
your bones might still snap under minimal pressure. Think of D as your bone insurance policy. Without it, you're at risk even when you think you're safe. Sign number nine, night sweats in adults. It's not just hormones. Vitamin D affects the hippocampus, which regulates body temperature, particularly during sleep. Low levels can alter thermal regulation, leading to nocturnal sweating, especially in the upper chest and neck. Many women in perimenopause have this symptom, but if your labs are fine, check your D. Sign number 10, bleeding gums or gum disease. Vitamin D is essential for oral immune defense, including antimicrobial peptide production in the mouth. It also regulates bone remodeling in the jaw and supports tight junctions in gum tissue. Low D makes your mouth more vulnerable to bacteria, leading to dental conditions like gingivitis or even bleeding gums. So if your gums bleed every time you floss, don't just blame the toothbrush. Now let's talk about it. Why vitamin D3 is better than D2. D2, also called ergocalcisferol, is plant-based and used in fortified cereals and processed foods. D3, also called cholecalcisferol, is the form your body makes from sunlight and it's more bioavailable. D2 breaks down quickly. D3 raises blood levels more efficiently and stays active longer. Always choose D3 if you're supplementing. Now let's answer another the question you may have, which is, why pair D3 with K2? Vitamin D helps you absorb calcium, but vitamin K2 helps you direct it. K2 activates osteocalcin, which binds calcium to bone, and MGP, which keeps it out of arteries. Without K2, that calcium can clog your pipes, raising your risk of atherosclerosis and joint pain. So D3 and K2, that's your dynamic duo. Another question is how much should you take? Most adults benefit from 2,000 to 5,000 IU of D3 daily depending on sun exposure, skin tone, and body weight. For K2, shoot for 100 to 200 micrograms of MK7, the most effective form. Take with fats like eggs, meat, or avocado to help absorption. And if possible, check your levels. Optimal ranges are 50 to 7 nanograms per milliliter. But keep in mind, some insurance won't cover it unless you have a vitamin D related medical condition. So can you get enough from food or sun? Now food gives you a little, like wild salmon, sardines with bones, grass-fed liver, egg yolks, and mushrooms. But most people can't eat enough of these consistently. And sunlight, it's great if you're young, light-skinned, live near the equator, and spend time shirtless at noon. The rest of us, we need backup. What about calcium, which you need to supplement? Here's where things get tricky. Too much supplemental calcium, especially without K2, can increase your risk for vascular calcifications, arthritis, and kidney stones. If possible, get calcium from food whenever possible. Things like sardines, cheese if tolerated, dark leafy greens, sesame seeds. Let D3 help you absorb it and let K2 tell it where to go. So here's my summary. Don't ignore the signs. If your joints ache, your hair is thinning, your gums bleed, or you just feel off, don't ignore your body signals. Low vitamin D could be the root. Get tested, supplement smart, and protect your health from the inside out. And since you made it to this point in the video, do me a favor, help someone else, share it with a friend. And don't forget to check the description for the full metabolic health playlist. And check out the video on the screen for more science, more stories, and more steps to protect your nest. I'll see you in the next video.